We were hoping to try to wear them down over the course of 40 minutes, and I think, uh, you know, being up six or seven and a half, uh, I knew it would be a battle of the first 20. And then the second half, we found five guys that really put it together, and we stayed with them for about seven, eight minutes. And we built ourselves a nice 20 point lead and, and played very well the second half. Uh, defensively, I'm very pleased uh, with how we played and rebounded much better tonight. I mean, we, we brought Dom off the bench tonight, and, and the reason was just to, to slow him down a little bit and, and uh, you know, to try to just, uh, you know, Get in the flow a little bit offensively. You don't, you know, don't need to force anything. I thought tonight uh, you can see what he's capable of doing if he just relaxes and, and plays on the offensive end because you know he's going to give you a great effort. Uh, he's going to run the floor. He's going to play hard defensively. And so, really nice to see him break out uh, and shoot well tonight. Our depth and. You know, uh, especially inside with Dallin and, and Andrew, uh, some nights nice Andrew starts, and um, it's just huge for us to give uh, Sergey a rest inside at the five spot with Dallin, the energy he brings. And Andrew Kelly tonight, I thought, really looked uh, more relaxed. It's our fourth game. Uh, we're still kind of fighting through a new team and jitters uh, offensively, but uh, right now our defense is very solid, and we're getting better and better uh, each game offensively. Colorado Christian tomorrow uh, have a chance at redemption against a team that beat you a week ago. I mean, what are some of the keys uh, after you've seen them play twice down in Anchorage and now twice here in Fairbanks, and uh, so you see them for a fifth time tomorrow? Well, they, they do a great job of running their, their offense, and if they're hitting their shots, they're very tough, and, and they made 11 threes against us in Anchorage last week. So, um, you know, we were very disappointed last Saturday night in how we played over there and, and the result, and we have a chance tomorrow night to – to change things, so I think you'll see a pretty, pretty uh, group of determined nanics, and and we'll see. Um, like I said, uh, we need to handle their pressure better. They, their staple is their defense and how they execute on offense. So uh, we definitely got to uh, work together offensively, and and uh, you know we, we just can't give them wide open threes tomorrow night. It's real nice actually uh, to see three wins this early in the season. So um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season really, and. Uh, Hopefully we can just keep on improving and um, get some more of these wins in this house. Um, it's nice to know that we can we can run on people. Um, we've got some depth, which allows us to play with fresh legs all the time. Um, so it's good, you know, when people only have a few guys and we can run them. Um, we're not we're not tired like we are, you know, other teams. So that's good for us, and it's it's nice to not lose anything with you know guys coming off, other guys going in. It's, starting to come together. What are the things you guys have to do to, you know, knock down this GCI Alaska invite title and, and come out with the win over Colorado Christian tomorrow? Um, I think it's going to take a lot of uh, shoring up what we didn't have the first game we played. Um, we're going to have to rebound and limit them to one shot and uh, just execute. Uh, I don't think that they got our best game. So um, I think that we're going to come out a lot quicker, stronger um, this time around. and. Um, should be an exciting game. Yeah, I just uh, think this game will be able to set the tone a little more than we did before. That'll help us out a lot as far as getting done what we want to do offensively and uh, you know dictating what they do on the defensive end.